Hey guys, this library resource saved me a bunch of money. I was able to replace my valve cover gasket on the Honda Fit with just the tools that I have and a manual that I was able to access for free through the public library. As a disclaimer, this isn't a how-to. This is how I was able to replace the valve cover gasket on my 2008 Honda Fit, but the difference is that I'm going to go through step-by-step -step using the repair manual that I was able to access for free through my local public library. Okay, so I start with my library app, and then I go down and find the Chilton Auto Library and enter in my vehicle, which in this case is a 2008 Honda Fit. Then in the table of contents, I find the section I'm looking for, which for this is the cylinder head cover, also known as the valve cover. And then from there, the intake manifold removal, which is what I'm doing, and in there, I have to remove the engine cover. Doing that here. And then from there, remove the air cleaner assembly. And with this really, <laughs> it shows like four things that you need to, con to remove. And I made this a little bit more complicated than it needed to be just because when I was looking at it, it looked like there were a lot more connectors that are needed, but those two bolts I just removed are two parts. A lot of the hoses that I disconnected didn't need to be. that connector, electrical connector to the air cleaner assembly. And then this hose needed to be removed. I did end up having to loosen the clamp that was going around the throttle body. And then it comes right out. And then I go back to the intake manifold removal. And scrolling down more, it talks about removing these connectors exhaust manifold. then removing the four bolts for the throttle body, which it does also have some brackets at the back which weren't shown in the manual. So you wanna just make sure that you're grabbing those. From here, it goes over the instructions on removing the lower intake manifold. I actually just removed the upper intake manifold. As you'll see, getting to the lower bolts just seemed a little bit more complicated. So you see me pulling that off.
right out, exposing, exposing the valve cover body, which I cleaned off a little bit. There are some clips just showing, really it's just finding the right point to press and they come off pretty easily. Moving the clip, the electrical clip from the throttle body. And then from here, going back to the cylinder head removal. And in that it talks about the next step is the ignition coils. I need to remove all the ignition coils. And I didn't actually remove them to start with. Three of them I left in place and did remove the fourth one. Disconnecting the electrical connectors and then just wiping it down around, try and clean up some of the oil. There's this bracket for the harness, which was actually supposed to be removed in a previous step. I just pulled it off at this point. up and wiped around that and then again going back to the cylinder head cover removal there's the bracket and then it's just pulling off the bolts this was not the correct pattern but I was just trying to not have it focused in one area when I was pulling off the valve cover gasket bolts. right out. <laughs> One of them dropped and I cursed when I removed that. And then it's the cylinder head cover installation, right? So first you start with the gasket. Just wiping it down, making sure. I had cleaned the groove beforehand. And then there's gasket material that you put it shows you where, but right where the timing chain is. I put some there and then installed the cylinder head. And as it mentions, kind of wiggled it around a little bit to make sure it's seated. Then inspecting the washers, they all, as you saw, that was a good one and a bad one. The bad one just looked terrible. And this is what I found worked for me. The bad one, I could use a larger socket, deep socket, to knock it out using some silicone. And then to put the new one back in, I just use that socket, but with pressure to punch it back in. And it went in easily. off the bolts. You put silicone on the bolt when you're pulling off the gasket and then you put silicone on the gasket when you're putting it on to the bolt. Then this goes over the tightening pattern and 
I made sure to go through that pattern and to just slowly tighten them down as I was going through. And as a note, it did say to do it within five minutes of putting the gasket material in. And I actually did do that. I had replaced the seals for the bolts actually before I did any of this, but I just put it into the correct order for the manual. And I'm just tightening it down based on that pattern in the manual. Back. Then the four ignition coils. We've got to go down to the insulation part, which, as you saw, all it says is just to reverse what you did. I did go in and clean all of them, wipe them down before installing them, and then installed them and tightened the bolts down the stack. Again, this is the install, or if you did the lower, I just did the upper. So check your specs for the correct for tightening. The manual that I looked at said that it was the same as for the lower bolts, so that's what I used. Just a random pattern to try and tighten it down, kind of similar to what I did for the cover gasket. And then to the throttle body, make sure to go with those connectors. This was a little harder, so <laughs> you see a little bit more of my head. make it 
seat directly. Verifying again. Memory installing the wires and hoses to the exhaust manifold. the air cleaner assembly which just says to install in reverse order I had to go and reconnect all those hoses that I had disconnected for no reason this hose I had needed to disconnect but it was at a later point because that's the valve cover back up. Electrical connectors and bolts. down the spec. Tightening the clamp to the throttle body. And then back to the intake manifold removal, which also has the engine cover. So putting the engine cover back on. that down to spec and then just make sure that all everything else is in place oh, bam! <laughs> and that's it valve cover gasket replaced and I didn't have to pay dealership fees or mechanic fees I just had to pay the cost of the valve cover gasket I think this is a huge resource that some people may not be aware of if this video helped you hit that like button leave any questions or comments below and if you want to see more free or low-cost resources that are potentially in your area as well, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.